Engineers looking to start their professional career are expected to effectively network to enhance their chances of landing their preferred role. The question is, how do you network? LinkedIn is one of the best avenues you can use for this. Several candidates have raised one concern. They do not get responses from potential contacts. They get ghosted. The reason might not be unconnected with the manner of approach of the candidates. The content of their introductory message. If I was a hiring manager for a Canadian company, what are some of the things I would like to see in a message from someone who is looking to network? First, I strongly advise against starting your very first message with a job request. Also, do not just click to add a potential contact to your network without an introductory message. Some people might see this as rude and they might not accept your request. We will briefly look at key information that should appear in your introductory message. Residency status. If the aim for contacting the potential hiring manager is to be given an opportunity for an interview or to receive advice on how to go about it, then the candidate can go straight to the point. No need to mess around. In the perfect scenario, the candidate is a Canadian permanent resident and is already living in Canada. In the second scenario, the candidate has permanent resident status but is out of Canada, say in their home country, trying to sort out things in readiness for a permanent relocation to Canada. Lastly, the candidate does not have permanent residence status yet, but is an at advanced stage of the process. So for example, they have put in an application for express entry and are waiting to be nominated by a province. The candidate might not have started the process at all, but is just developing their professional network in anticipation. Absolutely nothing wrong with this. You never know when your professional contacts might come in handy. Professional registration status. I would like to see that the candidate is professionally registered in his or her home country. The candidate will score more points for me if, in addition, they are registered with another professional institution outside their home country. So from an internationally recognized institution, for instance. What this tells me is that the candidate has gone through the process of professional registration, knows the importance of behaving ethically, is competent, and can attempt professional engineering registration in Canada. The candidate will score maximum points for me if, in addition to being professionally registered, they have started the process for becoming professionally registered in Canada from their home country. For instance, if they have started the academic assessment process as part of becoming professionally registered. An example would be an Indian candidate who is a chartered engineer in India, chartered engineer with the IET in UK, and has submitted his or her application to the Professional Engineers Ontario for academic assessment. It is worth considering professional institutions in Canada that have got 
reciprocal agreements with the UK professional institutions. For instance, if you are a chartered manager with the Chartered Management Institute in the UK, you can have this status transferred to Canada so you become a Canadian Chartered Manager. When you become a member, you gain access to a vast professional network with a wealth of knowledge, support, mentorship, and much more to advance your management career even before landing in Canada. This will not only enhance your resume, but help open doors for you. Professional certifications. A candidate that has already started making plans towards obtaining professional registration and other professional certifications will be well appreciated. If the candidate has recently taken their PMP exam, for instance, um, and the certification is directly relevant for a role, then it is a very good thing. Canadian Professional Network. I would also be happy to see that the candidate has got um, a network. The candidate has developed some professional network already before contacting me. So you might have engineers from your home country who are already working in Canada. You might have built networks from Canadian professional institutions that you have joined. You might have networked with people who have similar professional recognition as yourself. For example, a chartered mechanical engineer with the Institution of Mechanical Engineer in the UK who is based in Ontario and is a member of the Professional Engineers Ontario would be a good source of reference. The candidates can learn a lot from a candidate that has got this profile. Relevant work experience. So talk about any relevant work experience that you have. Knowledge of relevant codes. So have you studied the relevant codes you would be working with? The electrical codes, safety codes, building codes. Have you joined institutions online where you can download some of the codes and study them before moving to Canada? With this information in your introductory message, you are more likely to receive feedback from a potential network. Thank you very much for watching. Do not hesitate. Contact us if you require help. Bye-bye.